Hi, Laura here on Let's Buy a Boat. He said, I want to share with you what it cost us, me, a man child, two dogs, to cruise the Bahamas for five months on a sailing 46 foot catamaran. Now, obviously these costs will be different for everyone, but I'll give you a ballpark figure to work with. I'll break things down into five categories. Fees, fuel, food, phones, and fun. And I'll cover furries at the end separately. Didn't say furries. And interference. Interference, buddy. I'm trying to type. Let's talk totals. So our total cost, excluding the dogs, was four thousand eight hundred US dollars for the five months. That's nine sixty per month. Just thought you'd want to know. It's four eighty per adult per month. And with that's one twenty per adult per week. Are you done, Rain Man? Well, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I do know that his brain doesn't work like other people. If he's getting on your nerves, you just take a break. Spend some time away from him. Sure, I'll just send him back. For a bit of context about the total costs, we're full-time liveaboard cruisers. We don't eat much. <laughs> we do eat much. We don't eat out much. <laughs> we don't drink much. We didn't pay for tourist activities and no, we, we it's anchor not out. we didn't pay for them. We didn't do, we didn't them. do them. <laughs> <laughs> and we anchor out most of the time. So, where did we go? We left Miami and cleared into the Bahamas through Great Harbour and the Berry Islands. Then travelled in a loop southeast to New Providence, the Exhumers, Ragged Islands, some out islands, where we got hit by a water spout. <laughs> oh. I gotta go, Julia, we got cows! Then we headed to Long Island, back to Exuma and New Providence, finally clearing out in Banished Wells, Lutheran. Now I'll break down the $4,800 total into the five categories, staying with fees. Fees was $1,850. This included getting into the country with cruising permit, fishing permit and COVID related documentation and testing and six nights in the marinas because something broke so we had to fix it. It's important to note that New Providence versus Great Harbour marina rates there was 50% increase in the cost. Fuel. $450 calculated as a round trip from Miami, Florida. This was for both diesel and dinghy petrol, or gas as the Yankee Doodles call it. Side note, the diesel was $4.30 to $4.50 per gallon. Phones, $310. We purchased 30 day data plans and paid for a few local phone calls as needed. There are two local phone and internet carrier options, Alive and BTC. Of the two, BTC were more widely available in coverage and shopfront access. I got duped at Pinder's Liquor in Great Harbour. The shopkeeper sold me a 30-day SIM card with 30 gigs of data. But after cycling 40 minutes back to the boat and installing the SIM card. There was only 14 days and 3 gigs of data. How am I meant to watch Netflix out here? $1,850 for general ship stores of groceries and beverages. Because food is pricier in the Bahamas, I stocked up before leaving the US and Dustin thinks I bought more chocolate than I needed. Four kilos of it seemed excessive to him. This haul of grocery food... The boat water line was down like three inches after your haul. The haul of grocery foods and non-alcoholic beverages was $1,315 and 65 went on the alcoholic beverages. In the Bahamas, we spent $400 on fresh produce and flour. A big lesson learnt for me was some things like flour. I took 40 pounds with me, but because I was making bread every few days, it just wasn't enough. The cost of grocery items across the Bahamas does vary widely, so I've put a link to our Facebook post down below, and you'll see the comparisons along with an average for the US. Fun. 
$340 on eating out once per month and public transport, such as cars and buses. I'd like to give a shout out here to Willa Gibson's restaurant in Lanrail Point on Crooked Island. She has great affordable food and she's good fun, but be sure to give her a day's notice. That wraps up us humans and on to the ferries. It was an additional 1,560 That's ridiculous. Do we throw them overboard? On top of our bill. Yes. 33 extra percent. Now per dog it's $780 to get them Bahamas ready. Now when we consider that only $55 per dog was spent on food, the rest was all paperwork and vaccinations, exams to get them ready. So $725 for vaccinations etc. Per dog. So it's more than the cruising permit per dog to get into the country. I was worth it. I was worth it. That amount got us the vaccinations, the examinations on the dogs, pet permits to get into the country, the medical kit that I set up for the dogs in case of a medical emergency, and parasitic treatment. What have we got here? For basic first aid on the dogs, we've got some general gauze pad and con band, which sticks to itself. It's uh, like a bandage. Yeah, you got no pants on. Do I need to put pants on? <laughs> Just hold it up higher. No That's a lot for our Bahamas 2021 costs. Keep in mind that I haven't included sunken costs, so that's nautical charts, DIY boat maintenance, hull cleaning, insurance, water maker, other subscriptions. For our next six months in the Bahamas, when we get out of this hurricane and heat of America, we hope to only spend three and a half thousand dollars. This is because We've been vaccinated against COVID and hopefully we won't need marina stays. For the dogs, we estimate just under $600 for them to be Bahamas ready again. and For both? Yeah, it's for both, sorry. So it's still $300 a dog. <laughs> this is because they've already got their bulk vaccinations done. That's it's no, just some annual treatments. $300 a dog! <laughs> Let's buy a boat, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Thanks for watching. If you've tallied up your costs from the Bahamas, please share them in the comments below and let us know how many are aboard and what type of boat you have. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Let's buy a boat, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Want to put some more animation into it? I thought it was meant to be natural. On that around? For a bit of context. For a bit of context, as you'll see in the costs, we're not big drinkers, we're not big eaters, <laughs> we anchor most of the time and we're cheap. Now I'll break down the $4,800 total into five categories. Do that again. Total, break down the $4,800 total. total. <laughs> <laughs>